is what the inspiration was for Spanner in the Works? Because that song sounds quite specific. Yeah, well, basically, we, like, I'd start travelling up to London and everything, and, um, and all by myself for the first sort of time and obviously there's like a lot of homeless people around so I sort of took the inspiration from that really and just rolled with it and how you're an individual and that things sort of go wrong I guess and that you can come back from it it's that sort of theme to it and I just like it because it can mean so many different things the actual spanner in the works like to different people the song can mean different things because obviously the lyrics are quite ambiguous but yeah so it's about a generalization of homeless people right? it's not a specific yeah person that no that. it like well i actually did see a guy sort of flip a flip a coin and to this uh homeless person that actually like landed on his head which is like the sort of main thing but so that kind of explains the ending lyric then, yeah presumably yeah right cool and um I noticed that on the album, because there's a lot of, um, sounds like there's a band accompanying you in places, but there's no mention of them in the... Yeah, we actually did it completely um, computerised, because I did it with a, a sort of producer guy who also puts in on the guitar, and he just do it that way, so it was just with the company we were with, they wanted to, they're a lot more poppy, so we sort of didn't have the instruments to hand, so we sort of did it that way for this one, for the... Uh, first EP really. Did you feel you had much influence? With yeah I did, it was always a constant thing where I was like do you like this tune and I'd be like no, yes, so it was sort of just yeah definitely like a different experience altogether because obviously I, I don't play I don't play the drums and I don't play the bass so it's, it's always difficult to sort of get that balance but I think yeah we did it really well for what it was. Your yeah, live stuff's very much you on your own and then the, yeah. the album has got I'd say a band with it. Is the album a representation of your live performance, or is your live performance a representation of the album? Probably, my live stuff is. I'd say, my live stuff is like different. You you sort of listen to the album, and you might, and that's where it starts. But then you might come see me after, or see me before, and it's sort of the next step. Because of my favourite thing, I love playing live. Like that's what I'm about as an artist. But yeah, I think definitely it's sort of my live stuff. I've come on again, so it's even the album sort of partly reflects my live, but then it gives something for the audience to come back to. You get what I mean? Yep. Did you enjoy recording it? Yeah. How did yeah. it feel going in there? And Weird, like, because it's the first time I ever went into a recording studio, and obviously I had to travel up to London, so it's like two hours. Uh, from Southampton to round trip get there and then three hours in the recording studio and I was still sort of doing college at this point too so it was about it was like getting from college uh, three o'clock and then seven hours round trip so getting back at like 11 o'clock or something so it was just again a different experience which up for anything really for all of us. So if you if you record a second album would you consider this pose suitable for the cover of me? Yes. I've got into this and I felt like a catalogue model. No. Complete moment of pain. <laughs> I, got, I got down there, I thought this is wrong. <laughs> oh, I quite like it. Sit back up. <laughs> Try not to laugh while you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I, that's the thing, we can cut stuff out so we can yeah. talk quite generally. Um, that's good. You've got eco print. I remember when we came yeah. to the ship. You pointed this out to us, so it's obviously something quite important to you. I don't know if you wanted to talk yeah, about that at all. Yeah, um, EcoPrint is basically um, my dad's tied up in Salisbury Playhouse, and he has all of these sort of connections which are coming in handy. Um, and they actually designed all of our covers, so the actual sort of uh, sort of CD itself, which we actually love, the vinyl, um, and then also the posters, the flags. They come into everything and then it's Adiscom designs and then the eco print print it all for us. So it all works out. Um, I remember um, Dad saying that it was um, because it was eco print, so it was sort of. Um, yeah, it fits with the like organic feel that I sort of. I, I hope I give off as an artist, obviously with the acoustic guitar and just that sort of fits. 
like my brand really like the essence of what I'm about right so, so how are you using social media to further your career <laughs> um we're we're just obviously social media just takes a massive impact on how it sort of my fan base and how it's growing in a minute and we're just constantly trying to use Facebook and Twitter and everything I'm quite shy when it comes to it but like there's the reverb nation that sort of just puts it all on Twitter and Facebook for us so um, but without it we just wouldn't have that thing where people would just click on Twitter and find us and then it sort of leads them to iTunes and expands expands us really and are people buying your album on a whim or um, we we find that they we're taking them obviously it's on iTunes and everything but it's not until um, they sort of see us live well see me live I always say us um, but then um, they'll sort of purchase it when we're in the pub or something so that's really uh, so at the minute it's like they see me live and then they go into the album and iTunes and everything so it's sort of happening that way around rather than just people buying it just from nowhere that we don't they've never seen me or anything at the minute but hopefully that changes one day the ti title yeah. track why is that the title track out of the six that are on there it's all sort of inspired um, by the well my singles inspired obviously by trains and sort of the noises behind it like the beat was the inspiration behind that really of a train um, and so they all they're all sort of they're just a, a genre they all got sort of different storylines behind them but they all seem to sort of meet with on the line because obviously it's it, on the line is so general again that it can sort of mean anything which and it obviously fits with the single um, so it sort of came about and it's some someone like my dad must have just said like what about on the line and it it's just one of those things that stick really so it just stuck with us and was it always going to be the title track no it was literally like well we we were never like we all sort of always did them one song at a time really and then it was till like the last couple months that we were like what are we gonna call it we actually need to call it something and then it just came about randomly yeah in your notes <coughs> it says um, that you're a pure solo performer mm -hmm. which is what we see you what we see you when you're live you're yeah solo oh yeah yeah you've got a band yeah. on your album which well that's sort of like the actual um, write-up itself is more about when I'm live obviously because I've just got my guitar and it's all about me and the guitar hence just Millie but then I, I just think when people are listening to an album it should be something completely different to what you've seen live obviously your voice sort of is the string through it but it, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to just put me and the guitar on a track because otherwise it's just it's just what they've seen and you want to sort of mix it up a little bit I think that's what that was the purpose of doing all of the instrumentals behind it because it gives it sort of a different edge really cool yeah yeah, that's it. Cool. Thank you nicely.